Welcome back to SketchUp web series which is made for stage designers for concerts and events. Designed super fast. In our last video, we learned to import pre-made models and made this cool stage. In this video, we will add texture to our LED display and import lighting rig to make it look way cooler. We will start by selecting all our LEDs and make them one comp. We will call them all LED. Let's right click and lock this component. So now we cannot hurt this component or select this. Let's press R to select the rectangle tool. Let's try to draw a rectangle from this point to this point. Don't worry, we cannot see this surface because it's on the same surface as the LED. So we can just disable LED and we have the texture here. Let's draw more rectangle surfaces of these LEDs. Let's turn off the component to ensure that we are in the right path. Let's continue and let's draw this one. So we have hidden our LEDs, but we have our rectangles we just drew. Let's press G to make a component. Let's call them LED textures. Let's make a new tag called LED textures. Let's tag this to our LED texture. Let's move the LED texture to Z axis for two inches so that it doesn't overlap with our LED. Now we can turn on our LEDs. So now let's import some image that we can map as a material here. Let's select this face. Let's select here import my device. My device has an image called texture. Let's import that as a material. Let's place this point here. We're going to have this much of height. Let's paste. So we're going to have only the portion available for this surface pasted here. Let's press B for bucket. Let's hold Alt and click this to pick this material. Let's paste this material here. Let's paste this material here. Here we can see the position is not right for this section. So let's right click here. Go to texture. Select position. Let's position this texture somewhere in the middle. Let's right click and select done. Let's press B. Let's pick this material. Let's paste it here. Let's right click and let's fix the position. We want our material to start from this corner right here. We select done. Let's pick this material and paste it here. Now we have some symmetric looking LED textures for our DJ. Now that our stage looks cool, let's spice it up a bit. Let's add lighting rig. To do that, let's add truss first. Let's go to 3D warehouse. Let's look for truss. Let's pick this 12 feet trussing and download into our model. This doesn't look 12 feet. Let's go closer. Let's press T for tape measurement tool. Let's select this edge to this edge and see we have 70 inches. That's not 12 feet. Let's make it 8 feet now. To do that, let's press Q to select the rotation tool. Let's rotate it 90 degree in this axis. So nobody likes flying trusses. Let's get our truss into the ground. So let's press L to select the line tool. Let's draw a reference line in blue axis, which is height. Let's write eight feet. So let's select this truss. Let's press S to select the scale tool. Let's click at the middle. Let's snap this to this line. So this will be a solid eight feet truss. Now let's erase this line. So now let's place this truss to somewhere where it's needed. Let's press M to select the move tool. Let's try to move it somewhere and then press control to make a copy. Let's press it here. Let's release the control. Now let's copy this one and let's make a copy of this one here doing the same trick. Let's position it properly. 
let's bring these two trusses to little bit forward i think that's fine now that we have set some markers for our trusses let's rise the trusses to double size to do that let's get inside one of the components let's press ctrl a to select all the component let's make another component inside this component called half truss so this is gonna be our half of the truss so let's select the move tool by pressing m let's duplicate this and place it somewhere here now all our trusses are twice as it was before now let's install some awesome lights for our model inside our trusses let's make this component an unique one let's right click and make unique so this is a new one but this is copy inside same component so let's get inside this component let's press ctrl a to select all available let's press g we can call this anything doesn't matter so let's go to sketchup warehouse let's install some moving heads on top of our truss so let's say moving heads in our 3d warehouse this has some beautiful moving heads we can use let's install la, 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 this one martin rush this one says this is a large model are you ready i am ready so now we have one fixture so we just have to fix the alignment we just place it here let's turn it around let's select another flat base to use the reference let's turn here 90 degrees this looks good let's use this pane as reference so that we can place properly since this is an uneven model we should be using some flat lines for references so let's get this out let's get it out a little bit we are fine with the first one let's see our moving head looks good so we want to have four copies of same thing let's keep the model selected let's select m let's select a flat vertical line and try to move this and then press ctrl to get a copy so we have two copies let's select both of them press m for move to let's try to move them vertically and then press ctrl so we have successfully installed a lot of lights 16 moving heads into our set without doing nothing that critical so in that case we are going to install few more parkins in our truss below to do that we get inside our component this one is a unique component than this one so let's get inside this component let's press ctrl a to select everything let's press g to make component let's go to sketchup warehouse and add some par let's type led par let's go to models let's select a beautiful one i think this one is okay this looks good so now we have a slim part flying around our trussing let's go closer and place it properly as you know we're gonna turn it 90 degrees this way we're gonna place this using this as a reference marker because that is also an uneven model let's make a bunch of copies of this bar as well let's zoom out let's use this area as reference so let's try to move it vertically and then press ctrl let's select both of them let's select move and then press ctrl to duplicate them i think this looks good so now we have our full lighting rig installed now our stage looks good now let's quickly learn how to export png and 3d models if you like this channel's videos and style hit a like maybe subscribe as well now to export we will go to menu select export if you want to export anything it's just ask for money wait a minute you can download skp or sketchup file and use it in sketchup or share with someone who uses sketchup to do that let's just select download skp from here then it's gonna ask you for a version you want to download i'm gonna use the most recent one this says i have a lot of unused data inside my model it's asking me if i want to parse them or not i say yes so here is our skp file that's ready to archive or share so to download photos let's go to download png this is gonna ask for composing the frame 
you want to download let's compose a nice master shot like this let's export to png this is trying to scare you off with large images taking too long i'm not scared so let's export so now we have our png file with transparent background ready to use okay let's download few more shots so we can select a preset view from here so let's export few more shots with few tags turned off we don't want to see the sound system so we don't want to see some leds and no led textures maybe we send this file to our light designers to give them a better view let's export this photo awesome right check out this video for getting better at live production and live performance see you next time